Clouds without water. Darkest winds on the eve of destruction. Clouds without water drift in the sky, where the color of blood like a river runs to set sail the souls that die. A sea of transgression, amidst it one hope, a faint grain of virtue in a river of vice, where the sands are blown in the face of despair, piled in dunes high as heaven and frigid as ice. Never once to gaze up in this burning air, and words without power, and a tree without fruit, a form of light, but it does not shine. If the light is darkness, then what of the dark, just a darker shade of its kind? And a merciful death that sings sweetly to comfort the suffering of these days, as they thirst for a drop of its poisonous substance amidst the fire of the scorching blaze, and denied a drink from your golden chalice, we continue plotting this wasteland mirage, for all we dare say some nefarious presumption that fools parade in this dismal collage. Were there so many ways to extinguish our light, so many methods to snuff out the flame, such numerous means of subtle will to stake upon the dead their claim, who for all their power, lusts, and dreams, accomplishments, and crowning glory, could not a single moment more add to their life's unfolding story. We cannot light the candle burning whose flame would chase away the night. We cannot hear by deed or yearning bring back extinguished beams of light. A sovereign power, the right of God, a character he must possess as we extensions of this sod become the things his thoughts confess. We may steal the breath of living creature, yet not a living breath impart to fan these flames of sovereign future or cause the beating of a heart.